The consumer electronics market has brought a lot of sales to high-end chips. TSMC's largest revenue comes from 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers, respectively, and these two processes account for half of TSMC's revenue. However, the demand direction of the chip market has suddenly changed, and mature processes such as 28 nanometers have greater demand. How does TSMC respond to the shift in demand? With a mature process layout, what advantages does SMIC have? The trend of chip demand has changed abruptly. Demand determines the scale value of the market, and as a necessary consumable for electronic equipment, the market value of chips is changing at any time. Two years ago, the demand for various types of chips was in short supply, and manufacturers in the mobile phone, automobile, and other industries were faced with a situation where it was difficult to find a single chip. At that time, the value of chips was very high. But now that production capacity has increased and demand has slowed, the price of chips has continued to fall. Some chips have been reduced from the highest of 200 yuan to 10 yuan, a drop of 90%. Of course, this drop is only returning to the original market level. After all, before the core shortage, there were no dealers stockpiling goods. Demand is shifting as the shortage of chips eases. Because not all markets have sufficient chip supply, the demand for high-end chips in the consumer electronics field is no longer strong, but mature chips in smart cars, Internet of Things and other fields are still selling well. TSMC acknowledged the fact that mature chips are in short supply, and pointed out that the current TSMC factories are not enough to meet the demand for mature chips. In this regard, how will TSMC respond to the changing demand? Judging from the news from the industry, TSMC has planned to close four EUV lithography machines. Most of this is to reduce the production capacity of high-end chips and save power consumption. Then use resources in the field of mature chips and step up the output of this part of the chip. In addition, the mature chip expansion plan set by TSMC in Nanjing is still in progress. The original production capacity of this Nanjing factory was 40,000 pieces per month. After the expansion, it can reach 100,000 pieces per month, an increase of up to 150%. However, the production capacity of this part is still limited. TSMC has concentrated most of its production capacity in high-end processes in recent years. The 7 nanometers production line has exploded several times, so TSMC has been prompted to build more high-end chip factories. It's just that TSMC didn't expect that the trend of chip demand would change so quickly, and it's not easy to master sufficient mature chip production capacity in a short period of time. However, SMIC has already launched its layout, and many mature chip factory projects have already begun. With a mature process layout, what advantages does SMIC have? When TSMC and Samsung stepped up to conquer 3 nanometers, SMIC's approach was to target 28 nanometers chip production capacity expansion. Such an approach has left many people scratching their heads. Shouldn't we step up our efforts to conquer advanced technology? Why continue to increase the code in the mature process? Actually, there is a reason for this. On the one hand, the demand for mature process chips is large, and on the other hand, there is not too much technical bottleneck. 
With the strength of SMIC, it can successfully mass produce 14 nanometers, let alone 28 nanometers. So what are the advantages of SMIC with a mature process layout? The first is the productivity advantage. SMIC is currently building new 12-inch wafer production lines in Tianjin, Shanghai, Beijing and Shenzhen to rapidly expand the production capacity of mature process chips. Among them, Tianjin's investment plan is 7.5 billion US dollars to build a production line of 100,000 pieces per month. Shanghai invested 8.87 billion US dollars and planned a monthly production capacity of 100,000 pieces. Together with other factory plans in Beijing and Shenzhen, the total monthly production capacity can reach 380,000 pieces. Compared with TSMC's 100,000 wafer production line expanded in Nanjing, it is clear that SMIC's domestic production capacity has more advantages. Production capacity means orders. The more production capacity, the more orders that can be undertaken. Customers will also choose manufacturers with sufficient production capacity to cooperate with them, so that they can get the goods as soon as possible. The second is the technical advantage. 28 nanometers is not a high-end advanced process, so in terms of technical difficulty, SMIC has already overcome it as early as 2017. And after years of process improvement, the yield rate has reached the industry standard. Zhao Haijun, the joint CEO of SMIC, said that in the same process, SMIC can compare with companies all over the world. Therefore, SMIC's layout of 28 nanometers can not only provide production capacity support, but also guarantee technology. I believe that in the domestic market, it is not a problem to obtain sufficient mature chip orders. After the change in demand, SMIC's big opportunity came. Facts have proved that SMIC's move to choose a mature process to expand production is right. Before the EUV lithography machine is supplied, giving full play to its own production capacity and technical advantages is conducive to accumulating revenue in a short period of time, thereby ensuring long-term R&D investment. Including the cultivation of talents, recruitment, etc. will also bring favorable support. TSMC is overly pursuing the U.S. technology system, and now it can still make U.S. companies rely on TSMC's orders. But after the U.S. supports Intel's success, Intel has the conditions to take over TSMC's customer orders. At that time, TSMC, which chose to go to the United States to build a factory and bet on American technology, wondered if there was enough retreat. SMIC and TSMC take two opposite paths, one laying out mature processes, and the other betting on high-end processes. As market demand shifts to mature chips, it will take a lot of time for TSMC to expand production in a timely manner. What's more, the orders of American customers are concentrated in the high-end market. TSMC cannot ignore the orders of American customers and expand the mature process. How the market will perform in the future will depend on their performance. What do you think is the need for expanding the production of mature process chips? Feel free to share in the comments below.